All right, Travis, thanks for joining me. Um, I want to jump right into the headaches because then uh, I think that's the most important part of your story. So yeah. you did the 2030 fast track. Do you want to just jump right into the results that you had with your headaches and how they were before and after? Yeah, so I've been dealing with headaches probably for like 10 years at least. Um, they would come during the week. I mean, they would really limit me in being able to work and enjoy hanging out with my family and then uh, quite a bit uh, with just exercising as well and so for multiple years just they progressively got worse over time and I just got to the point where um, if I wanted to go play basketball because that's the sport that I've loved my whole life and so um, once I started playing basketball um, I would have to take the whole rest of the day off because I'd have a terrible migraine and just have to essentially go to bed. I'm taking quite a bit of medication to to help with the headaches as well. Um, and they were just really life altering. And so um, not only was medication, I started going to a neurologist where um, he started getting me on an injection monthly and then we were to the point where we were going to start getting Botox injections. Um, and that for one was going to be, um, you know, quite a series of uh, treatments, but also too really expensive. I mean, I was looking at probably, um, you know, fifteen hundred bucks out of pocket for that, and so, uh, you know, really not looking forward to that. And so, when my wife Tara, who uh, works here at the clinic, she said, "Hey, I'm doing this program," um, and I said, "Well, how about I give it a shot?" And so really with uh, you know I honestly tried almost everything that I could you know especially um, with medications and um, even some dieting but um, once I got through the first eight days of this diet I really felt like it helped to clean me out and really reset where I was at and um, I had quite a few headaches at first eight days just to almost withdrawing from you know all of the bad food the right. sugar and everything that I was having um, but after that eighth day I really haven't had any issues with headaches especially with ex exercise and so I typically would take a um, anti-migraine medication three times a week I haven't taken one since and it's been awesome. like two months and so um, I think a lot of my issue too was just tons of fast food and drinking a lot of my calories more so in like Gatorades and body armors and stuff like that. So I'm just getting tons of sugars and, and calories that way. And so um, I thought I was dehyd dehydrated too. And so I would just drink more of that and it was just perpetually just not helping me. And so once I cleaned myself out with that, and I've been able to maintain that too. So that's been just completely life altering. So now I'm able to get through a full work day and come home and I can hang out with my kids and I don't have to go to bed and not, you know, or I don't have to, I can spend a lot more time with them, you know? Yeah. And so, and, and it's more, um, you know, I'm there, I'm present, you know? So, and then in turn, I'm happier too. You know, I just noticed my mood in the past couple of months has been just significantly better. And it's amazing how when you don't feel good, you just start to go downhill and, you know, you just get in a bad spot. Yeah. And so, um, but when you feel better, you're a lot happier too. I mean, it's very, <laughs> um, you know, those things really go hand in hand. But as you're, as I was kind of going through it for the past 10 years or so, you know, you don't really realize how, um, you know, what you're missing when, when you can actually feel better. And then now I'm at a point where I want to continue feeling like this. And so continue eating well, not drinking all my calories, staying away from the fast food and just really keeping it, um, you know, I, I'm not really depriving myself of a lot of things because, you know, I'm not as, um, I don't necessarily want a lot of the things that I did before. Right. Um, but um, it, it's really easy to continue with the, the diet that I've been able to do, so.
Nice. Yeah. When you were saying how it's been kind of a ten year process for you, do you do you do you think it's fair to say that a lot of people really don't know how bad they feel until they feel better? Hundred percent. I think that's a great way to put yeah. it. Yeah. Because, you know, that was just my normal. That was my normal day, right. and I was just thinking to myself, you know, hey, let's let's try to be able to go through a full days of work today, you know, and not feel bad. So um, I would just do things during the day and, you know, I would definitely not exercise on important days that I had to do something so I didn't feel terrible, Yeah. you know. And so now I don't have to think about that. It's like um, for the first month or so I was nervous to go exercise and now I don't even think about it because it's just what I do now. Right. And you're playing basketball. Yep couple times a week and you kind of hop right back into it yeah so um i joined a three-on-three basketball league and then um i've been playing uh i'd say two to three times a week which is before i'd play maybe once a month because that's all i could afford (laughs) right you know to be out for a whole day exactly yeah that's awesome yeah do you remember when you first joined? Did you, and you know, it's it's a weight loss program too, right? So you're you're thinking weight loss, and were you thinking that the headaches would improve significantly, or were you just thinking you might lose a few pounds and feel a little bit better? So honestly, my hope was that the headaches would be able to be taken care of, and the weight loss was gonna, if it showed up, fantastic. If it didn't, that's fine too. I just wanted to feel better. So, so I went into it really thinking, hey, let's, let's try to take care of these headaches because I need to be able to feel better. And so um, as I um, cleaned up my diet, the pounds just like left. You yeah. know? So um, I think I was quite, you know, really bloated, inflamed. You know, I had all that stuff going on. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I, I lost quite a bit. Yeah, um, yeah. You end up losing about what, right around twenty? Yeah, right around twenty pounds. Yeah, yeah. Quite a few awesome. inches too. So, I mean, yeah. my pants weren't fitting as well. So yeah. I'm cinching the drawstring a little bit more. So, <laughs> that's nice. Um, so, yeah, that was. That's awesome, and um, you were also kind of going into it to support your wife, who was, who was, um, you know, wanting to lose some weight and stuff too. And, um, was that a good was that a good approach you think to kind of do it with somebody like that? It was perfect. I don't think I would have been able to do it if I didn't have Tara helping me out. And so it was really nice to just have her and I both go through it. Um, I know the first weekend that we were doing the program, we ended up going on a vacation, and I know that I, if she wasn't there, we brought a whole cooler of food just to make sure that we're staying dialed in with everything. And I know if you know. I would have been eating burgers and, you know, I mean, so um, really having her there to help me through it. And I think with me too, we were able to support each other and um, just, and then we text each other to, um, hey, how's it going today? Well, you know, um, what was the weigh in? You know, how'd you do with all that stuff? So it was really good to have, have her uh, just to help me through all that stuff too. Yeah. 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 It works well. People do it as a couple. And then obviously we provide the support with the group too. Yes. Um, but you were always at home watching the kids. <laughs> I was, yeah. So we had to split that up. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Uh, if you think back, um, did you have like any concerns going into the program? Like concerns that you could do it or concerns that it would work? And were there any doubts in your mind? Or what, what was back there when you first started? Yeah, I think a lot of my concern was previously um, when I would go a certain amount of time and not eat or not eat a significant amount of um, sugar or, um, you know, uh, carbohydrate type food, I would get headaches quite a bit. And so I was concerned just about um, the the amount of food that I was going to eat, but then also just totally, you know, getting rid of, you know, my sugary drinks and that sort of thing too. I'm thinking, I'm not going to be able to tolerate that. Right. And so it was difficult for the per- first week or eight days that I was on it, but the headaches progressively improved. Yeah. And so then I was able to tolerate it. I wasn't dealing with hunger either. It was, you know, um, 
once we kind of got in our groove there, it wasn't an issue. And it's also, I've been able to maintain that too. Yeah. And so I don't feel like I need to go eat a huge meal or anything like that. It's like I'm able to consistently eat throughout the day and and I'm not getting hungry and I'm keeping my calories at a good spot. So yeah. I think that was a lot of my um, concern was that um, I'm not going to be able to eat very much here and so yeah. I'm going to be hungry and I'm going to have a headache and feel terrible and so um, you know that that wasn't the case once we got going on everything so that's awesome yeah. that was my follow up question was were you hungry it sounds like not really no I mean it wasn't bad yeah. so and um, when we ran into roadblocks and everything too it was nice that we were able to just bounce some ideas off you as well and say hey I'm dealing with this and being able to touch base with you and I mean, I'm texting with you every single day, so that was right. that was fun too. You know, to be able to say, "Hey, I'm dealing with this," or "We're going on this trip," and do you have any suggestions on what we can do here? Or, um, you know, I think I asked you about bone broth one time, or you know, just like little things. Hey, can we? Can I maybe throw this in, or you know, be able to accommodate that? So, yeah. um, and my wife being a vegetarian, we had quite a few. You know, there's. That was a little difficult. That was uh, challenging. We yeah. Had to, we had to uh, figure out how to have her eat more fish again. She um, she had her share of shrimp, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seafood diet. Yeah. Nice. Do you have another kind of side question, not as important probably as the headaches one, but you, you mentioned, I know you, you travel for work. I mean, you're, you're a traveling therapist. You're mm-hmm. always in your car, and you've got fast food everywhere you go, yes. drinks everywhere. Do you, um, do you have any idea of how much money you ended up kind of saving by not ordering all those things? I mean, you still have to pay for the food that you right. prepare yourself, but is that, is that so much on money. your radar? Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, well, for one, what would happen is that, like you said, when you're out, I mean, it's like, oh, there's Jack in the Box, and, you know, I've eaten their tacos since college, so, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, so, um, but, I mean, I'm stopping, and I could spend anywhere from, like, 10 to $30 a day. So, I mean, if we're looking at that, I mean, you know, I mean, probably anywhere from like four to 600 bucks a month, you know, just on like fast food and coffees and all that sort of thing. And so not to mention not getting the Botox treatments, you know, (laughs) I mean, if we're going to, you know, I mean, it, it's not only, a good investment financially but just like overall health I mean it's been the best thing that I've done for such a long time just as far as in investing in my health and just being able to be there for my family and you know uh, I mean it's it's been fantastic and then um, you know Tara and I really did it to essentially give us a jump start on um, you know being able to continue this way of life now you know um, because before we just really caught in a routine and a rut where it's like all right let's try something and hey let's cut this out let's try not to drink as much you know coffee blah 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 and then um, having the structure and having just the all right this is what you can do today and this is this is when you add this in and just really going along and being able to follow that without like creating this whole plan myself, you know, was really nice to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think part of why that works too is because I know you would already cut out caffeine for your headaches. Right. But sometimes we, we think of like incremental changes, right? And it's like, okay, well, if you do this really well, you'll see results in about six months, right? Whereas I think the average person needs to say, hey, you're going to do everything right, right now. And you're going to have results within a few days. Right. And now I think just human nature, we can we can wrap our heads around that. Like, oh, this is working. Then you have that motivation that's just built in because you're feeling better. You're losing weight. All those things. You're seeing results. Yeah, yeah. Versus like if you do a couple of things right for a few months, you'll see something. But that's hard to maintain. Yeah. yeah. And, and hard to track too. Totally. And you're like, I don't know if it's working or not. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I forgot to ask you too. Was sleep an issue for you at all, or were you a pretty good sleeper already? I can sleep, no problem. Yeah. Okay. So that that was never really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So still a good sleeper. Still a good okay. sleeper. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, thanks for sharing your story. My last question I just have to say is, you know, it you were talking. I think maybe that was before the video about like your neighbor with headaches. 
what do you say to people who are kind of reporting similar things to you that uh, you know are going down that path where they've tried everything and they're talking about you know uh, medications and injections uh, what's your advice so a lot of it is I just tell them my experience and my story and it's saying hey look I've tried this for you know I tried quite a few things for 10 years and didn't really help me trying this um, this nutrition program really helped take care of my headaches and then just essentially go through the story that I told you and you know I think that that speaks volumes yeah you know yeah. and so first hand knowledge yeah. right and um, you know I think now my advice is more um, where I'd go get massage I'd go try you know everything where, where there's a lot of short term fixes and it and I never really thought to myself um, hey let's overhaul the diet because that's the issue I was looking at all kinds of other things maybe I'm you know uh, maybe this is the case maybe you know but nothing was ever adding up and so yeah. um, I think really starting with that and essentially resetting your you know your body to be able to um, you know have a good diet then um, you know I that's that's really the way to go so I you know, the long answer is um, just essentially tell them my story, mm -hmm. um, and this is what worked for me. That's where I would try first. Right, and I think you said earlier too is like you know it's uh, instead of treating a symptom, like the the underlying cause is the inflammation. That's yes. what you got rid of. Right, right. exactly. So instead of saying, hey, you're going to treat this, try this medication for this specific action on whatever receptors, or you're going to do Botox to paralyze certain muscles. Like, well, they're all just inflamed. Right. So, you know, exactly. So just get rid of that. And I know you're young enough that you don't have a whole bunch of other medical problems, but some of the people who've been taking through this, man, it's like they lose weight and then everything just improves because yeah. they've got they got a laundry list by the time they're 60, 70, you know. Right. So exactly. hopefully you and I will avoid those laundry lists. That's right. Keep playing basketball. That's the plan. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. You got um, it. Obviously, I really appreciated taking you and tear through it and happy to be able to play basketball with you again here one of these days. Looking forward to it, buddy. Yeah, you probably hit a three right in my face, so we'll, we'll put that on video too, right? <laughs> Definitely not taking you to the hoops. So. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, man, thanks, Travis. All right, thank you.